What up, Hard Squad, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the rarest Pokemon card pack opening in the entire world. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this pack in a box full of first edition packs. Here is the pack. The capital T-H-E pack that is worth between five to seven thousand dollars. On the inside is likely a holographic Pokemon card, potentially a $55,000 card, the one, the only Charizard. And I will not just be opening up this pack today, I will also be opening up these packs. Two Aquapolis packs, which go for around like $500 each. Two Neo Destiny packs, goes for around $300 each. A first edition jungle pack, and you can't do an opening without some Team Rocket packs. I also will shortly have several appearances by some very, very familiar faces in the whole entire Pokemon world. You are gonna enjoy today's video, but first off, I gotta say, welcome, welcome, everybody. Pokemon has been such a big part of my life, your life, ever since it first started in the 90s, and I have to say, I am eternally grateful to be doing not only today's opening, but all the videos that you see on my channel, and I got like almost 2,000 of them, I am grateful for all of them, and I'm most importantly grateful for having people like y'all in this community. So, I am going to first, and yes, I have my finest attire on for today's video, and you'll love this, I have some awesome Pokemon card sleeves that are actually very, very rare, who would have thought, but uh, for potential holographic pulls, it's gonna be fun today, but, we, but before we get into the opening, we have just a few special faces to show you. Hey, I'm Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash Ketchum in the first eight seasons of Pokemon. I'm so excited to be with you today for this very special event. Um, I just wanted to say from myself and Ash Ketchum, hey, Leonhart and the Heart Squad, I choose you. Good luck opening that rare Pokemon card pack. Hi everyone, my name is Stuart Zagnet. You might also recognize me as the original voice of Professor Oak from Pokemon. Now I just wanted to wish Leonhardt and the Heart Squad good luck today. So on behalf of Stuart and myself, go get them, Heart Squad. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, hi Lee. Hi Leon. Nice to see you. Now we're supposed to be social distancing, but this is only about three feet apart. So is that okay? Does yeah, that count? Yeah, of course, I think so. Oh, it's so. okay? Okay, Leon, I'll back up a little bit. <laughs> anyway, this is Gary from Pawn Stars, King Pokemon, and I had to check in on this epic pack opening day. And you know, I'm wishing you all the best of luck. What would you like to see Lee pull? Oh, Charizard, Charizard. Charizard, okay, yeah, well, I don't know, that wouldn't bother me much either. I'd love to see that. So anyway, on behalf of the Heart Squad, we're gonna send you all of our good vibrations and we're we're hoping we're hoping that that you pull your Chaja. Charizard. Good luck. Okay. All right. Love to you and love to Rebecca. Take care. Bye bye. What more? Can we want? We just had the OG, the original voice actor for Ash Ketchum. We had Gary from Pawn Stars and his wife, and last but not least, the original Professor Oak. All of them, by the way, incredibly, genuinely amazing and kind-hearted people, but they graced us with their luck. And if the original Ash Ketchum, Gary, and Professor Oak wished us luck, I think we're gonna do good today. So, before we get into the first pack, if you can, to help support this video, please, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button, everybody. Let's get this video to 15,000 likes. I know y'all can do it. And last but not least, if you like Pokemon, please consider subscribing to this channel and also hit that notification bell. But let's get right into the first pack. I want to go big. We have to go big and that is what's going to be 
with this first pack. This is, for people that don't know, an Aquapolis pack. This is the second to last set that these people, Wizards of the Coast, made in the year 2002. Skyridge was the final set, and I have opened up those packs, and I will be opening up more of those later on on this channel. But for now, Aquapolis, nine additional cards. The card you want to pull is, of course, a Crystal Lugia card or any of the other crystal cards. If we can pull those, we are in business. I, I have been so nervous about this opening for so long. Uh, I believe it's just two cards for this card trick. If I do it wrong, I apologize for that. Because uh, I think I know it. But anyway, these cards originally went with the Game Boy Advance, the e-reader series. That's why they look different than your normal Pokemon cards. But the print ones were so limited for these sets because they were the final sets that they are the absolute rarest packs other than the first edition pack, which I still can't believe I'm opening up today. Uh, hopefully this has been in focus for everybody. Let us begin. And I have not opened up too many Aquapolis. Look at this little like play place spider gooey thread. Okay, that's awesome. The one thing about the E-Series cards, which include Expedition, which came out in uh, 2001, I believe. These have the absolute best artwork for the Pokemon TCG from my humble opinion. Like, look at this Eevee. She's like in Venice or something. Oddish, Wind Waker style. So if we do get a crystal, it will be coming up soon, but I'll take a holographic or above. Fan P. No way. Oh my God, we did! We did pull a crystal! A Nidoki crystal card! Guys, this is insane! We have just started the opening and we just pulled a crystal card! This is absolutely insane! I don't think I'm gonna get through this opening if this is how it's gonna be. Oh, we're not done. A horsey! Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. A Nitto King crystal card. I don't know what to say. Centering is perfect, guys. I'm gonna be doing a new series on this channel where the cards I pull, I will be getting them graded by PSA and we'll do a little guess game for it. This is this is what it's about, guys. I love opening, the, the reason why I'm opening up these packs, guys, if you don't know, the, the platform has been absolutely crazy recently and I wanted to do something that can just bring the whole community together and that's about opening up these packs. Yes, they're very, very expensive, but I do this for because we're passionate about it. Pokemon is amazing. It brings so many people together from around the world and this is what it's about. What is going on right now is having fun over Pokemon. Look at that Nitto King Crystal card. What a, an amazing way to start off this video. Horsey is the reverse. And a Porygon 2 by like an AC unit or something, I don't know. Okay, let's get right into the next pack. Team Rocket pack. If you missed, not, uh, yes, it was yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, which will be right over here in the eye. Click on that as soon as you're done watching this video. I pulled a Dark Charizard holographic card from a Team Rocket pack, twice. Yeah, that was yesterday's video. And then the day before I opened up more vintage packs, like a base set pack, just unlimited one, pulled another holographic from that. It's been crazy this entire week. And from like lows to highs, and to finally get to this point where we're on this beautiful weekend Saturday, and I'm opening up these packs today, no matter what happens, I am just so excited. I mean, we pulled a crystal, so I'm already happy, but obviously the main coup de gras is that first edition pack, Charmander, Dark Raticate, Diglett, and a Dark Dug Trio non-holographic. I'm most upset that we didn't get a, a Squirtle card. All right, let's go with a first edition jungle pack. Scyther pack art is my favorite. This pack is actually fairly expensive now. It's like getting close, it's like 200-ish dollars. And the holographic you want to pull is a first edition Jolteon, which I've pulled on this channel several times now. Three cards, and it's crazy because I usually open up first edition jungle packs and fossil packs and gym challenge, gym heroes, but we're going to be opening up a heavy first edition base set pack later. And when we hit a million subscribers, I will be opening up several 
heavy base set packs. I just wanted to do this opening like I said. Like, we need something to just rally around right now. And I hope this can be it. Pikachu, Golding. The Pikachu is a very nice uh, first edition card. Venonat, Nidoran female, Mankey, and a eggs. Got some little scrambled eggs coming. And non-holographic Pinzer. That is okay. That is okay. All of these packs are kind of like the undercard events of the main event, which is which is crazy because Neo Destiny right here is one of the absolute best sets of all time. Not just from my own like from opinion. It's I think a lot of people consensus would be that this is potentially the best set of all time. But we have uh, some great cards to potentially pull in this set. Of course, Shining Charizard or any of the Shining cards in this set would be amazing. I have personally, myself, within the past few months, pulled a Shining Charizard and another amazing card, which, well, all these videos are on the channel, obviously. You should definitely go check them out as soon as you're done watching this. Uh, this artwork, all the Neo sets have fantastic art, the illustrations. If any of the illustrators are watching today's video, y'all are absolutely amazing. Y'all are talented. You are the true MVPs of the Pokemon TCG. So I thank y'all for all your hard work throughout the decades. Because it's been multiple decades. Ghastly. Swinub. Marie. Porygon. Unknown S for super awesome. Hitmon Jackie Chan in the rare is a broken ground gym. I have not seen this card in a long time. That is a trainer, non-holographic rare, but it's a rare. So I'm gonna take it and be excited about it. Plus that's a hilarious looking uh, illustration there. So first Neo Destiny pack is one and done. We have, we actually have quite a bit left. These four packs left. So we're gonna get into a Team Rock pack, obviously. This is amazing. We did pull a crystal card, which in an, in itself would be enough to just make this video incredible. Uh, and it already is. But uh, obviously I'm excited for that first edition pack. Oh my gosh. Uh, Team Rocket. Okay, let's get a Squirtle. I also like to say thank you to Gary, uh, Stort, and Veronica. Absolutely amazing people to have uh, taking the time to make those videos for all of us in the community today. The Heart Squad, Radita, Kafifi, Drowsy. Wait, did we get a squirrel? No, we haven't gotten a squirrel yet. Meowth, Goop Attack, and a Dark Machamp. In yesterday's video, I pulled two Dark Alexam holographics. Very, very awesome looking cards, and they were hollows. And that made him very, very special because Alakazam is one of my favorite Pokemon. And we could potentially pull him later. All right, let's get into the next Aquapolis pack. Can't believe we already have pulled a Crystal card. Crystal Lugia? There's, I, there's more Crystals to pull. There are more crystals to pull. Before we get into this pack, simple reminder, guys, if you can, hit the thumbs up button and share this video on your socials. It would really mean the world. All of these packs are just for my personal collection that I'm opening up for you today. And two cards, two. All right. <clears throat> you really, when you're opening up packs like this, you just really have to just take in the nostalgia that are these cards and just be grateful that we're opening up these packs today. That's a really cool looking Magnemite. Yes, they are. Shiny and expensive cardboard. But then again, there's lots of things in life that are expensive and just made out of simple goods. It's all about how it makes you feel. And these just, the magical word is nostalgia, everybody. And that's what it's about. Look at that. The, this is the original Drowsy sitting in a tree. Shout out to Drowsy sitting in a tree. Sneasel, who is trying to get up to push Drowsy out of said tree. Slowpoke. Very, very cute illustration for that one. Marie, just like the Neo Destiny one. It's always looking up at the sky. Is this a slow king holographic card? And look at that. Let me get close. It has a swirl in it. A lot of collectors love the swirl. There are people out there that just love collecting those. Wait, 
Oh my gosh, a reverse holographic crystal energy. Well then, let's take a quick look at the condition of this. Centering is perfect again. Magnifique, I don't want to touch my hands or get them all greasy and watery after touching these cards. They should be fine. Uh, it's always better not to use gloves when opening up cards. It makes it a lot more difficult. But how about the pulls in those two packs? Crystal Energy and a very, very interesting looking Hypno. Doing what he does best, and that's being a very, very creepy Pokemon. So I'm also going to put this uh, Crystal Energy. It's not a rare, it's just an uncommon, but at the same time, it's still an amazing card. So we got two packs remaining before we get to the main event. But let's see if we can get not only a Squirtle, but a like Blastoise, Dragonite, Charizard. I'll take either of them. I'll just take a Hollow at this point. All right, here we go getting into this Team Rocket pack. Uh, if you're new to the channel, obviously my name's Leanheart. I post new videos pretty much almost every single day at 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays. Please do consider subscribing to the channel if you want more openings like these because they will be coming. You also get new Pokemon card openings as well. Psyduck. What I was talking that whole time, I like skipped over a Squirtle. I would never do such a thing. I would never. Machop. Mankey. Dark Radicate and oh no, no. Oh, it is a Dark Charizard, but a non holographic. It's still worth something. It is still worth something, and this could be the ultimate foreshadowing of pulling the 55,000 Charizard card. That would be incredible, but I'm happy about that. I'm so happy as we get into the final pack before the first edition pack. Neo Destiny Hack. Oh my. I will tell you that what are at what's at stake. Opening up the pack shortly, but uh let's get into this final pack of Neo Destiny cards. I mean, you get amazing cards like the light cards, right? Here, Light Jolteon. The uh, Neo Destiny was the only set that they did have light cards like this. And look at that awesome stadium card. That's so cool. I love the artwork for that. Unknown Q for Q from Star Trek Next Generation. There's a uh, Snive Eggs, Gligar, Creepy, Creepy Sunkern, Totodile praising the water, the Manatee and the Babes, Pineco, Unknown T for Tim, and. A light Azumaro holographic! How about that? Beautiful looking holographic card. So many memories. Centering is perfect. Centering is perfect. Once again for this card. Love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that holofoil pattern right there. It's like more of the ends of its tail. That's incredible. I will show you the pulls. Before we get into the main event from this absolute glorious day, I didn't put Charizard in a sleeve. I apologize for that. I probably should. So, overall, I would say we did very well today. Especially this, a Crystal Nitto King that looks like it is in perfect condition. Dark Charizard, Crystal Energy, and a Slow King Holographic. But here it is. It is time. Let's, let's just bring it out. I can't believe I'm doing this, but then again, when we hit 1 million subscribers on the channel, uh, let me just bring out the pack. Look at this. Filled with first edition packs, including this pack, which is the ultimate special pack where I know the box uh, several years ago was opened, no Charizards were pulled. This pack is approximately how much a Charizard or Chansey or Ninetales should weigh. This pack is like the, the pack. This pack that we're opening up today is my second heaviest pack. So who knows what's going to happen. The rest of these, they're all sealed first edition packs. And most of them, the heavy ones, will be opened when we hit 1 million subscribers on the channel, guys. So that's why please be sure to subscribe. Join the Heart Squad. Join this community. I got to go old school with this and just have this in the background over there. 
And here it is. And for legitimacy purposes, I am setting my live streaming stuff up. So I will be doing live streaming in the near future, probably when I open up those packs. But just to show you this first edition pack, it is completely legit. Everything about it is legit. Here, I'll get close. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now. Look at this, I'm shaking. The seal, absolutely legit. These were actually a pack purchased from people in the community uh, about two months ago. I purchased a bunch of packs and this is one of those packs. I don't know if anybody has opened any of those packs, uh, but let's get into it. So this pack is a heavy pack, which means there's likely a holographic on the inside worth between five to $7,000. However, the market for Pokemon keeps on going up and it's crazy, it's local. But I wanna open up this pack today in hopes of obviously pulling the Charizard. But honestly, even if it's a Blastoise or Venusaur or Chansey, I will be very, very happy. Now, if we pull the Charizard and it looks like it's in perfect condition, potentially a $55,000 card. Great return on your investment there. However, even if we pull any holographic and it's in perfect condition and we get it graded by any company like PSA, comes back a 10 or even a nine, even a nine, we're still in business. So, but the fact that this pack right now potentially can get $7,000 for it is pretty crazy. And yes, I'm crazy, but that's kind of like what you get on this channel, guys. We've, uh, it's all come down to this and I appreciate your patience. And uh, here we go, guys, 11 tradable cards, first edition stamp, and it is a Charizard artwork. Oh my gosh, I need to do my best to not ruin the cards on the inside, but save this pack. Oh gosh, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Oh, even the pack sell for money. Oh, not that I would sell it. Okay. Just gonna put that back over there. Okay. I will be doing the card trick today. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now. All right, we have to slow roll this because each card is worth tons of money. All right, well, technically the holographics are, but even these, this is what it's about, guys. Rarest pack in the world opened up. Ivy Soar. Look at that print. Gosh. All right. Sorry, guys. Okay. Calming down. Calming down. Ivy Soar. Now, I will say this. If for some reason we don't get even a holographic, I'm still, I, st I will be okay. Because what this is about right now is us coming together as a community and taking the ultimate risk for just for doing something we love and that's pokemon cards and that's pokemon and the community itself pokemon center machoke machop this is insane machop wait the card trick's not different for this one is it no okay so energy it should be two energies then you get to the rare and i will be doing something that i always do on my channel usually for uh newer packs the guess the energy patented trademark of this channel i'm gonna guess since there's two energies since my heart's going crazy right now psychic and leaf energy in that order ratata oh my gosh okay hands are sweating first energy Okay, we did not get the first energy, but energy. Oh no, what is this? It is supposed to be another energy. No way. Just did it. 
I'm going crazy right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I can't even take it out of the sleeve anymore, guys. This is insane. We pulled a first edition Charizard. This is, this is what it's about. This is what it is about, guys. A first edition Charizard has been pulled. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. This is absolutely incredible. I'm shaking right now. I know. <laughs> what, what is this? this is, what is this? What is this? What a perfect video. The perfect card opening. Guys, 15,000 likes and share the video. This is what it's about. A first edition Charizard, which I will be getting it graded and I'll be doing a follow-up video on the channel of what what it actually, uh, the, the grade that it gets. This is the holy grail of Pokemon cards. And today we just made history. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. A first edition Charizard has been pulled and a crystal from the bottom of my heart, guys. Thank you so much for being part of this history with me today. I'm so grateful, I'm blessed, and I thank you. No matter where this channel goes, I will always be here for y'all. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.